Hey guys, it's Marlene. I'm putting this video into the category of fun <laughs> your Lumix does. The winter months have me digging deeper into my camera menus, and this is something that I've never used before. It's called Snap Movie. So what even is Snap Movie? Well, Snap Movie is a way to record short video clips in the camera that have effects applied to them. Here's the setup. I'm using my Lumix G100, and it works on other Lumix cameras as well, like the Lumix G7. Sadly, it does not work on the Lumix G9. It's more for the consumer-oriented cameras, but hey, it's a lot of fun to play with. All right, let's look at the setup. First thing you're gonna do is go into your main menu, and you're going to go into the video settings, page one. And this is on the G100, and you go to where it says Snap Movie, and you can turn it on. Now, Snap Movie will work even if you're not in manual video mode. So here I'm in creative video mode, it's called. But if you're in any mode, Snap Movie will actually work. On the G100, however, it does not work if you're in selfie shot mode. So if you have the screen uh, turned around and you're doing a vlog style where you're looking into the camera, you can't get it to work. All right, let's get back to the setup. Into Snap Movie, we have on and off, and we also have the setup. Uh, you can choose record time, so anywhere from two to eight seconds. I'll just leave it on four. You have a pull focus mode, I'll talk about that in a second. Or you have the fade in and fade out mode. So right now, you can choose white in or white out, black in, black out, color in, color out, and off. So you can disable the fade feature. But I like the fade feature, so here's an example. So we use white in, get back into shooting mode. Now, if you're not in creative video mode, so right now I'm in picture taking mode, it won't work unless you push the red button that's on top of the camera, the red video button. And it will also work if you're in creative movie mode and that'll work with the regular shutter button or the red video button. So let's just see what fade in white looks like. There you go, that's fade in white. Let's get back into the other setups, white out, and you can see that it turns to white on the way out. Next one is black in, so it fades up from black. Next one, black out, and you can imagine that this will fade to black. Next one, color in, And next one is color out. And you can turn it off. The next thing is pull focus. And what this does is it allows you to uh, set focus on one part of the frame in the beginning of your shot and at the end of your shot, it's focused on another part of the frame. Okay, let's set up the focus pull. So get back into your menu, set focus pull, turn it on. And the first thing you gotta do is choose a point of focus. So we go into this focus setup here and you can move it around. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but there's a little uh, box there that you can focus in. So you hit menu set with your first focus point and then you move to the second focus point. And you'll know if you've got a first focus point, I don't know if you can see this, but there is still a little orange box there where the car is. And the second focus point is going to be the plant. Hit the menu set button. And now take your snap movie and you'll see that the focus point changes from the car to the plant. Let's play that back just so that you Believe me. There you go. Okay, and that's focus pull. Of course, um, if you have really deep depth of field, you won't notice the focus pull at mu as much. So you want to make sure you have shallow depth of field if you are doing a focus pull setup. Now I can show you focus pull and a fade all at once. Let's go back into the set. We still have our focus pull. Gonna put the fade on. 
let's do black out and after our focus pull. So we got focus pull and fade. Here we go. And dark. So why would you need to use something like Snap Movie? Well, Snap Movie is great for making content for social media. Perhaps you are a content creator or even a new YouTuber who needs some, maybe some B-roll or things like that. It's a simple way to create video effects in the camera. And you know me, I'm all about creating your content in the camera as much as you can. And here's another cool thing. With some cameras, you can use the Lumix Image app and combine the Snap Movie clips in the image app on your phone or your tablet and create a edited movie. I also think it would be a great way to show travel related content. It's a great way to transition between longer clips. If you're into video editing, you can do some of it in camera and some of it on your computer. It's also really fun to use and it's only limited by your own creativity. And if this video has helped you or made you feel even a little bit more creative, please consider buying me a coffee. Link to that is in the video description below. Have fun making your snap movies.